With words and actions, people are honoring the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today's federal holiday included ceremonies dedicating a pair of visual reminders of King's lasting contributions. CBS 58's Melissa Zigowitz joins us live from downtown Milwaukee with those details. Melissa. Yeah, one of those events today including included renaming Old World 3rd Street to officially call it Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Take a look. They unveiled those new street signs today. Dr. King said it's always the right time to do the right thing. And we're here today to do the right thing. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive officially extends all the way through downtown Milwaukee to Wisconsin Avenue. MLK Drive stomped at McKinley. Alderwoman Malele Coggs fought for years to fix that. Um, so I was able to, with the support of all of my colleagues, something that I don't believe has ever been done in the history of this city, introduce legislation from the very beginning, co-sponsored by all aldermen. She says out of respect for Martin Luther King's legacy, it's only right to extend it through the whole city. Because I think we all recognize that just because things were away in the past does not mean it has to be that way in the future. There was an acknowledgement that MLK stopped at the point that it did and for a number of reasons, uh, political, racial and the like, it did not extend. And so when you recognize a problem, then you act on it. Just down the street, people gathered at the Martin Luther King Jr. statue. In the name of Dr. King, show some love in action. People reflecting on Dr. King's impact and the work that still needs to be done to fight against racism today. There are real issues in our city, and it's only going to take love and action that's going to make a difference. Now tonight, there will also be an event on Zoom sponsored by the Martin Luther King Jr. Coalition to honor Dr. King. It starts at 7 p.m., and we have that info on CBS58.com. Reporting live from downtown Milwaukee, Melissa Zigowitz, CBS58 News.